Investing in yourself is the best investment you will ever make. It will not only improve your life, it will improve the lives of all those around you. I've read a lot of self-help books, but there are a few that have struck with me forever. One of those few brilliant gems is the infamous The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. There is no denying it, it's a very polarizing book. Either you're going to hate it and consider it to be psychobabble or you're going to love it so much that it changes your life. The plot of this story revolves around Julian Mandel, a lawyer who has made his fortune and his name in the profession. Jolted by a sudden heart attack, his practice comes to a standstill. He ponders over material success being worth it all, renounces all of it and leaves for India where he embarks on a spiritual journey into a millennia-old culture and learns how to live happily, think deep and rightly, value time and relationships, be more disciplined, follow the heart's call and live every moment of life. Now, although almost most of the principles dealt with can be found in countless other volumes on self-help, personal growth and spirituality, Sharma's way of putting it all together in the form of a fable helps to keep one on track and adds interest to what could have otherwise been a tiresome listing of all the good things we should be doing for ourselves but aren't. It's been criticized for its lack of literary value but to that I say that the message is what matters. It's not meant to be great literature, just inspirational fiction and in that way I think that it more than meets the brief. The practical lessons that Julian learns can if one so applies them, help develop joyful thoughts, cultivate self-discipline, nourish relationships and live life one day at a time. This is one of the books that can improve your quality of life but only if you listen to the advice.